Hi, I'm Kylie Morgan, I'm 32 years old and I'm a music therapist. I'm working in psychiatry, so I'll use music to help people with psychosis and depression to try and help them feel better on a daily basis. Or else I'll play them a piece of music because sometimes I find people have trouble relating in a verbal conversation, but if they hear a piece of music they like, that expresses what they feel. I think that it's a beautiful experience to see someone's mood change in a music therapy session. To see someone come in quite flat and depressed and to be able to give them that little bit of joy and hope again, it's something that they can identify with emotionally. My original training was as a musician and then I went into music therapy. So it was, it was really different and I didn't know what to expect but it wasn't frightening. The staff on the unit are fantastic and everyone really watches out for everyone and helps you out. So very quickly I was, I was quite relaxed. My original degree was a Bachelor of Creative Arts in Performance and I was training to be a concert pianist and that was, you know, it'd be my lifelong dream and I was always interested a bit in counselling and psychology and did my minor subjects during my degree in those and I realised that it was very hard to get a job as a concert pianist so I chose to do a graduate diploma in music therapy. The final assignment we had to do in music therapy was design a research project and I wanted to know why music therapy was so effective. You know, I just saw everyone change but there was no evidence of how, why or, or exactly what was happening. So it's what I've been doing for the last five years. Also, we've been researching the effects of music on, the, on brainwave activity. And so we'll play music and have a look at the brainwave changes that are happening at the time. So we'll compare what the activity is like when people are resting quietly versus when they're listening to music and then actually see if the changes that happen when they listen to music are durable, if they actually last after the music finishes. Indications are showing that music therapy is an effective therapy during an acute psychotic episode. It does have an effect on people's mood, a positive effect and it does seem to reduce some of the severe psychotic symptoms that they're experiencing. When I graduated, I thought it would be really hard to find work because it seemed like an obscure profession that I'd gone into and um, I've never been without it from the day I graduated and everyone in my year level and since then have all had work as much as they want, really. Music therapists work in special schools. They work in nursing homes, virtually all areas of the healthcare system. My advice to someone wanting to be a music therapist is keep up their music skills. But you do need an undergraduate degree first, and that can be in either in allied health, such as social work or occupational therapy, or in music, and you can go one way or the other with that. I think the best part of my, my job is the variety where I do get to go and have a lot of fun. I get to play music and then I also get to, to do the academic side of it. You know, I've always been an academic as well as a musician and this is a job that I've been able to combine both of those skills and, and loves and found that using my music to help others was much more rewarding than performing ever was. You know you've made a difference to someone's life.